So I am back again, and today I'm going to actually be doing a first impression video based off of another Eve Pearl product. This product is called the um, Eve Pearl HD Cream Blush in the style number Trio A. Um, now this is definitely a, obviously a Trio palette filled with three different colors inside. Let me see if I can open it first. Okay. So th these are the three colors that it does have. This side here is more of a peachy kind of pink color. This is definitely more of a more work uh, towards a truer pink. And this is more like kind of like a cherry kind of red or I would say more maybe more like a tomato kind of red color. Now this product actually has, let me see. 15 milliliters. I'm not sure how many grams that really, uh, you know, converts to, but I would say it, I mean, it's, it seems like it probably have a, quite a bit of amount, at least like five grams or so, I would say. And when I swatch this, it's definitely very pigmented. So as I showed you guys actually in my eye mask haul, this definitely was very pigmented on my hand. I literally took a small dab and that was literally quite enough for you know just that small section of my hand but today I'm actually going to be doing a first impression I'm going to be using each three of these colors on my cheeks so I want to see how they transfer from the palette to my cheeks all right so then we can go ahead and get started okay so first of all the first color I'm going to be using from this palette is this peach peachy pink kind of color so I'm just going to take it with a finger of mine because I'm I know for, I'm pretty sure that if I use a brush, it's going to be an absurd amount on my cheek. So I'm just going to take a clean finger and I'm just gonna take my middle finger here. Just kind of dab it in there, maybe like kind of dab it a couple of few times. And then with the help of a mirror, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just dot this on my cheek. And as you can see, see those three dots there, just like totally pigmented, definitely showed up very quickly going to kind of rub this in so far I mean it seems like a pretty nice amount it's not extremely heavy it's not like extremely pigmented with just those few dots that I did add there I'm going to zoom in for you guys okay so here is what I have so far very very light and like I said you don't need a whole lot for this if you wanted to you can definitely you know amp it up a little bit more so I'll go ahead and add just a tiny bit more so you guys can see a little better you know on here because I know the camera isn't picking up the color very much so I'm just going to take a little more just going to dab it a few more times and I'm going to re-add it so definitely coming up quite a bit more now so it's still pretty light but you can definitely in person you'd be able to tell that I'd be wearing a little bit of blush here so um, I think it's a pretty really nice color um, camera wise I'd probably have to put on a lot more for you guys to really see the like the color very bright, vibrantly I definitely recommend just using your finger for a more sheer kind of color so I think, I think that'll be okay for now. Definitely very light. So the next color I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using this on my other cheek here, and you'll probably be able to see because I have a bit more light here. This is going to be more of that pinky kind of color here. It's very pink. And dab it a few times. Now this one definitely seems to be, you know, transferring to my finger. Very pigmented, as you can see here. So on my other cheek here, I'm just going to place it where I would normally place some blush. As you can see, it's extremely pigmented, way more pigmented than the other. Holy cow. So, oh my gosh. So you guys can definitely see this. <laughs> wow. And I only dabbed it in there like three times. 
holy moly. If your hammer isn't like, well, yeah, you guys can kind of get the, get the gist. This is extremely pigmented. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is extremely dark. And what you saw from those three dots, that this is how pigmented this is. Alright, so even though I'm blending it, it doesn't really seem to be fading much at all. Um, wow. Okay. Alright, well that's that one. I would definitely not be adding my finger into that color three times. Maybe just once is going to be enough. Because that is... That's really powerful. Holy cow. I'm not going, I'm not going out like this. I look like I got punched in the face. That is just like a lot of color right there. Okay, well, moving on, I'm going to just put a little foundation over, you know, what I put, what I put on here. And then, um, I'll show you guys what it looks like next. Okay guys, so I am back now and I'm gonna be applying the darkest color of the three, which is that kind of a tomato-y red kind of color here. And this time I'm taking one dab into this. So I'm just gonna take my little finger, dab it. Not a lot of product came off this time as the other one. So I'm gonna start off with that because I don't want this happening over here because this is a little crazy for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of apply that to my cheek here. Holy cow. So I thought that wasn't a lot, but apparently it was way more than I thought I had picked up. So I'm just going to apply that. So far, so good. So it's not too bad, actually. That one dot seemed to be just enough here. Actually, I don't mind the color that much. I haven't, I mean, I, you know, wouldn't have thought that this color here would have been a, you know, a nice color for me, but actually not too bad. So I'm actually pretty surprised by that. So that is it for my... Eve Pearl, the blushes that I have here. I'm going to zoom out again. Okay, so that is it for the blush. And I'd have to say, definitely extremely pigmented. Like, holy cow. Um, definitely the, the peachy pink color here definitely was a really good color. I think this one here, the more pink one, I think I probably should not have dabbed it three times because it definitely came up extremely pigmented. This one here, I definitely just dabbed once and it was a pretty good color. I mean, it's very, you know, it's light. It, it gives a little color, flush of color to my face. Um, so this one, the you know, the really the pink, the pinky one, definitely need to be careful of. I guess it felt like it was extremely easy to pick up with my finger. So next time I'm going to be using this product, I'm going to be extremely careful with this because it is definitely very, very pigmented. Um, I, I don't remember the exact cost of this. You Pro products are usually a little more pricey, I would say. Usually like your concealers are like 30, 30-ish. So I wouldn't be surprised if this trio here was about 40. So, I mean, so far so good. You know, I'll probably get pretty good usage out of this. I just will have to be, I have, just have to remember just to be very, very careful with this. Um, if you're a beginner to makeup, I would definitely be very careful with pigmented and very pigmented blushes. I would probably start off with maybe more of a powder blush. Like if you have actually um, deeper skin tone, this actually might be a really good product for you. See, if you're fair like me, it's going to be very bright. But the darker you are, this is definitely going to be a pretty nice um, color combination for you. So I overall, I would probably give this product maybe a 7 or an 8, only due to the fact that it is so pigmented that it's so easy to screw up. But I, 
I also give it the higher number due to the fact this is going to be, I'm going to probably going to be using this for a very, very long, long time due to its pigmentation. So I mean, it has its, you know, pros and cons. I would definitely check this out for yourself, and if you can try it out, I would definitely try it out. You'll definitely see why I say it's so pigmented. It's so easy to just really apply. But that's it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed both my first impression and my review of this product. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to comment below, and I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. If you want me to do any more reviews or anything like that on specific products that you have in mind, just let me know. I may have it, and I can do a review or a first impression on it. All right, guys? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.